two occasions I entered interview rooms to find a detainee chained hand and foot in a fetal position on the floor, with no chair, food, or water. Most times they had urinated or defecated on themselves, and had been left there for 18, 24 hours or more. On one occasion, the air conditioning had been turned down so far, and the temperature was so cold in the room that the barefooted detainee was shaking with cold. When I asked the MPs what was going on, I was told that interrogators from the day prior had ordered this treatment, and the detainee was not to be moved. On another occasion, the AC had been turned off, making the temperature in the unventilated room probably well over 100 degrees. The detainee was almost unconscious on the floor, with a pile of hair next to him. He had apparently been literally pulling his own hair out throughout the night. On another occasion, not only was the temperature unbearably hot, but extremely loud rap music was being played in the room, and had been since the day before. The detainee chained hand and foot in the fetal position on the tile floor. Welcome to the United States of America. Land of the free and home of the brave. I'm glad to see you still have your bags packed, as we will be sending you somewhere new. You will be taken to an island resort off the shore of Cuba, where you'll be waited on hand and foot by the most highly trained professionals. We hope this isn't too huge of an inconvenience for you. And even though we have no evidence to support your guilt, and plenty of evidence to support your innocence. We cannot take any risk for the safety of the American people. They are a danger, even to themselves. And that's why we're taking every necessary precaution to protect them from the entire world, and even themselves. Welcome. United States of America. The home of the insane.